Hey, happy holidays everybody, welcome back to The Domain. Today I've got a slightly different video for you guys, and I'm gonna try and explain my thought processes now. So today I've got the Breacher Exosuit Series set. I mean, look at this thing. It's crazy cool. And this was actually scored to me by World Trader for Mega Constructs. They are the number one buy sell trade community for Mega Constructs on the internet. And let me just explain what's been going on this week. So I did a nine and a half hour live stream on Monday and it kind of killed me. And I've been taking it easy after that. I really want to enjoy my holidays. I've been uploading such a crazy amount of videos. So I thought, you know, I still want to make a video for you guys today and I still want to bring you something, but I don't really have much time spare. I've been, you know, present shopping and all that kind of business, so it's, it's been taking up a lot of my time. So what I'm going to do today, this is a completely unedited video. I'm just going to put some nice music over it, there'll be a lot of pauses, there'll be some mess ups, some hiccups, it's going to be a little free flowing, and if you guys enjoy that kind of video, that's cool. After I've got more time, I'll get back to editing properly after the holidays, but right now I just wanted to release something for you guys today, keep your company during the holidays with my, this is not crazy. Craig the Brute, I guess. This is pre-Craig. Can you imagine a world pre-Craig? I know, it's it's hard to believe. But I'm going to unpackage this today, give my thoughts, and just, uh, you know, talk about what's going on in my life. Completely unedited, as I said. We'll take a quick look at the back of the package in here. We've got the Breacher Exo Suit. I thought Decimus was just such a badass in Halo Wars 2. I love those Exo Suits, and this one just looks fantastic. I'm particularly excited about this translucent shield. It looks like some kind of red gummy effect. And also we've got the prototype suit from uh, Halo Legends, and then also this, uh, this yellow one. I know yellow is sometimes a little contested in the Mega Bloks universe. Some people love it and hate it. It's kind of like Marmite, you know? You love or you hate it. I particularly don't uh, mind it. You know, I definitely, I just unpackaged the new Spartan Operator from Halo Heroes. I love that yellow, but I don't really need my yellow in an exosuit. I've seen the review uh, from Halo Podcast Evolve. Tom did a really great review of that. And although he did a great review of it, uh, it does look like a super, super sort of like yellowy figure, like a bit plasticky. Uh, it doesn't really fit in the Halo universe in my opinion. And I'm just uh, looking at this now. This actually looks like it's quite a lot of pieces. So we're going to have a bit of a ball today. There we go. I thought, I don't know why, I didn't really pay attention to the packaging. I thought maybe some of it was a little pre-constructed, but it seems like it's all totally from scratch. And uh, guys, I hope you do enjoy this kind of video. It feels a bit weird to me. I'm recording a video and uh, I'm not going to deviate or I'm going to try not to deviate and then I'm not really going to edit it. That's a little weird for me, but like I said, I really just wanted to make sure that you guys had a video today and then I'll have a, I'll be releasing like a quick little Christmas message on Christmas Day, just wishing you all well and then also uh, I recorded a full unboxing of Halo Heroes Series 11. I want to make a, like a properly edited video of that, so maybe I can get it out over the holidays, maybe not. And wow, they uh, <laughs> they tape this up good. They do not want you getting in here. This is banished top tips, uh, top tip, what am I talking about? This is banished top secrets. So you, they really don't want you to get in here. This is not for my eyes, this is for Atriox's eyes only. You know what? Oh, I gotta get some scissors, okay. I guess that's the only bit of the video. I'll cut down a bit. You don't want to just be looking at a blank screen while I go get scissors. All right. Wow. That, damn, there's a lot of pieces. That's crazy. I really didn't think there'd be that many pieces for this thing. I thought this would be a quick, easy build. I was mistaken. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There we go. Look at all that. Wow. All right. We've got the banished brute here. He's, uh, oh, yeah, he still, he still looks a little craggy. He still looks a little craggy. Not, not quite as craggy. He's, uh, he's got a little more menacing uh, look to his face. Uh, I think it's so funny that Megaflux made uh, Craig pretty much just look exactly like Craig from the Infinite demo. That is hilarious to me. All right, so we've got the brute. Oh, we, oh, we strap him in straight away. We take his armor off, I guess. You're gonna, you're going, you're going naked in here, bud. <laughs> you're losing your armor, stripping you down. Come on. <sighs> sometimes, sometimes. The, oh no, it's a, oh, it's a pull off there we go I was trying to split it in half that would have been awkward if I'd broken it are uh, we gonna take his leg pads off too it's nice that it includes all the armor though in case you don't want him inside the exosuit for the uh, prototype suit you know this uh, this green one 
I definitely switched out the marine for just like a basic one with just like a basic undersuit because I wanted to use that ghost marine. He's so great from Halo 3. So I, I definitely pop and swapped him. So they give you some options here. Uh, we'll get his big backpack. Oh, cool. It's got a rod, so it just sort of clips into his back. That's nice. And then what have we got next? These two little... Oh, are, the, are these arm pieces? Whoa, I'll pull his arm straight off. He's actually got some really nice uh, arm detailings there. Some like, they almost look like knives. They probably are knives. Uh, I think they do use detachable knives in some of the cutscenes. Uh, what are we doing here? Uh, yeah, okay, he's got he's to gotta hold on to these? Did his head just come off? <laughs> oh boy. Alright, I'm not organized here. This is uh, probably going to end up being a funny video to just go, uh, go unedited because there's going to be so many little hiccups like this one. I, uh, I need to take this piece off to, like, put the other pieces in. So, oh yeah, okay, you slot them in first. That makes sense. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? There it is. Slot them in first. And guys, yeah, it's been a pretty hectic week for the domain. Uh, I don't know who tuned into my live stream. It was on, I guess, Sunday evening America time. And wow, it was one of the wildest experiences of my life, to be honest. It was just nuts. We live streamed for nine and a half hours straight, which saying that now, like, I don't, e I didn't even have a concept of time during that stream. Like, it was really strange seeing time sort of like move in a different way, you know. When you're live streaming for nine and a half hours, it doesn't feel like time passes. Uh, properly as strange as that may sound maybe maybe you understand where I'm coming from It's the same sometimes with video games or like if you watch a movie a movie can sometimes not feel like three hours long But I mean it the time passes somehow or maybe time is just a concept of human perception Ooh, ooh, should we get philosophical at the domain technically the in the halo universe the domain is the center stage of like the the, the location of all knowledge in the galaxy so technically, anything that I say goes, you know? <laughs> anything I say is is factual. Um, you can't argue with the domain. It's uh, it's Cortana's Cortana's new, I, I guess, domain. <laughs> it's where it's where Cortana lives now. Uh, there we go. We got two legs popped together, pretty bulky. And then oh yeah, we need to do we need to insert something in the top of that as well? Yep, another one of these clips gives for nice mobility. I had a couple of complaints about the ghost prototype suit. Maybe, mainly the fact, uh, it was very well made, but the cannons on the back didn't move, which did seem a little clunky to me. But uh, maybe we won't have the problem with this one. Okay, so these clip in really nicely. Yeah, nice. That gives loads of posability. All right, uh, big boy Craig. <laughs> you know what? You know what, Craig? We'll, we'll do you justice. Where is it? There we go. Halo Hero Series 12 here. And, oh, the helmet always tries to stay on. There we go. It will be Craig. Craig the Brute. Craig the... <laughs> Craig the Auto Mech. He's, uh... Craig ain't taking no prisoners today, I'll tell you that much. Alright, now we're making the arms. And yeah, as, uh, as is... As is with... I don't know, what am I even saying? As it is with the domain, uh, I'm trying to balance uh, work and life, you know what I mean? Like, um, I've, I'm recording this, and then I'm going to quickly try and just throw some music over it, and then I've got friends coming around for the rest of the day. So, uh, we, we don't stop, really. We never really stop. We went for uh, some nice Christmas shopping yesterday. Uh, I, I hugely recommend, like, everybody tries to tries to get into the, this, the spirit of the year, like, it, it's been a very strange year, but um, I want to talk about it a little more when I make my, I'm going to record a Christmas message, and I want to say in that, like, um, I do have a tremendous amount to be thankful for this year, uh, I feel like this year has just been so wonderful, uh, just to me personally, I know, it's, I know it's been just a fiendishly tough year, um, and it has been for me in a lot of ways, but the uh, the domain has come from this year Like uh, I never could have in my wildest dreams thought that the domain would uh, would spring up from this year And uh, just it's it's been good for, for that reason uh, Not so good for some reasons, but really good for that reason All right, we got to make sure his arm goes in nicely I also hope people have the opportunity to see family this year I know you might not be able to and uh, that that really does suck and my heart goes out to you if you if you can't see your family but um, I'm hoping you at least get some quality family time. All right, and oh, no, make sure that's the right angle. There we go. 
Just bulking out his shoulders. He's looking pretty good. I wish I'd brought the prototype suit to Hong Kong now because they could have they could have battled it out. Ah, uh, where'd you go, helmet? Come back here. There's always something falling off the table. Maybe I just have butterfingers. There we go. Craig is Craig is suited up. <laughs> I love that it's at the actual Craig helmet. Craig is not taking any prisoners. There we go. Clip him in. He's ready to go. Look at that. It feels it feels very natural, that. It feels really... <laughs> Looking right now, it looks a little disproportionate. But uh, what are we building now? Probably the arm cannon or the, uh, the arm sort of shield. He's got a shield and a big mace. That's it. He's got a shield and a mace, which is awesome. Uh, I'm really looking forward to building this. I also um, really want to get hold one day of the the uh, Sergeant Johnson green machine. Uh, it's eluded uh, my 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 cra my clutches. <laughs> it's escaped my clutches. You've escaped my clutches for the final time. Yeah, I really hope to get that one day. But it is a very very popular figure. Obviously, like if I was to give any advice to collectors, the second they come out with a named figure, buy it immediately. Because named figures are just too popular. We got this. Uh, maybe this is a jetpack. Maybe he's uh, maybe he's flying through the atmosphere. He's gonna fly straight onto Spirit of Fire. Just chop, cut his head off. Oh, no. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, maybe maybe. Uh, I I always think that like there was a bit of a weird stalemate stalemate in Halo Wars 2. I would also like to know how long the events of Halo Wars 2 were. I don't really know any of these things. And like Halo Wars 2 is a fantastic game. I really enjoyed it. But I feel like I don't know, it was a little confusing at times, like, uh, especially I've talked about it before, the size of Atriox's army. It was never clear how big Atriox's army was. We're building, I think, the shield now. This is uh, looking really great. I love that they added this gummy effect. That's so fantastic. We're going to angle those off. One, two, and three. Cool. That's, uh, oh yeah, that's, that's cool. I like that a lot. And yes, everybody, let me know in the comments. I would love to know what Christmas presents you're hoping for this year. Do you think Santa's gonna come with some mega blocks? <laughs> I hope so. I hope, uh, I hope you all get a Pelican inbound for Christmas. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Uh, maybe, maybe if the domain ever, <laughs> the domain ever does a world tour, I'm gonna deliver Pelican inbounds to all your houses. How about that? That would be a real Christmas treat. Uh, there we go. Okay, are we, oh, I put that wrong way round. There we go. I love these sloped angled pieces. They round off everything so nicely. I've compl I've complimented Mega Constructs quite a lot uh, in the past that one of my favorite things that they do really well is uh, round things off. And I'm talking like I'm a vet of Halo Mega Blocks and I've seen that evolve over the years. Uh, the way that they can round things off. These pieces are also brand new as well. They've been doing really well with these pieces recently. They give way more, uh, way more plausibility to like being able to like angle things 90 degrees really fast. Like that is a really important thing to be able to do. All right, I don't want to make a mistake here. We've got a tube running there. We're actually pretty close to being done. I don't know. Uh, I guess this is the hammer now, and then we're we're done. So that's pretty great. I can uh, maybe maybe I'll even get time to release this today. I really do hope so. I, I just like, I don't know, I feel, um, it may be a bit lame, but I, I feel a responsibility to, to upload to you guys. Like, I feel a responsibility to bring you good content all the time. Um, it is, it is, uh, it is a responsibility I take, I do not take lightly. By the rings, my battery died. Ah, uh, the, the profits are not on our side this time. <laughs> oh dear. All right, we're almost finished. And I barely have any charge on this battery either, so this is going to be an entertaining time. Let's quickly put this together, and we can round up today. <laughs> uh, yes, happy holidays, everybody. I really do hope that you uh, you find some joy in this strange year. And look at this gravity hammer. Wow, that's, that's actually seriously cool. All right, gravity hammer in one hand, and then shield in another. I guess we just click that on. Whoa! That is my Breacher exosuit with Craig the Buddy. <laughs> Craig the Buddy. Craig my Buddy. Look at that. That's fantastic. That's so menacing. Oh, it, it reminds me of the Awakening the Nightmare DLC. I would love to see this Craig the Brute just smashing some flood apart. 
that gravity hammer is in has incredible weight to it. Wow. And then also this jetpack bulked out. I might do a review of this in the future, but I mean, this seems flawless to me, especially compared to like there were some problems with the design of the uh, prototype suit. But this one, I don't really see any issues. The silver etching work is really nice, gives a very cool battle damaged effect. It's not on the back, but it's definitely on the front where it counts. I love this translucent shield. It gives like a raw plasma energy effect to it. I think his arm just fell out from inside. Wow, that's a bit weird. Um, but yeah, this it holds the brute in so well. Ah, this is fantastic. This is going straight in my banished diorama. Thank you very much for tuning in today, guys. Just happy holidays and really, you know, hold your loved ones close. I really hope you can all have a very Merry Christmas and I'll see you on Christmas Day for a special Christmas message. Happy holidays and Craig, the Exo Breacher Suit of Terror is signing off. Bye.